Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Love Talk Radio. Hello, everybody, and welcome to EAPix.com TV show. I'm your host, Tony T, and you're watching us here on uh, the EAPix.com website, YouTube, and we're also simulcasting on Blog Talk Radio. So if you hear that uh, intro in the beginning, that's because we're on a simulcast now. So you can also download our podcast episodes on iTunes. If you do a search of EAPix uh, TV show on iTunes, you can download the Blog Talk Radio stream, and you can listen to us on your iPad or iPod. All right, now let's go out to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're going to welcome to the show Dave the Meat Man Scandaliato from MeatandPotatoes.com. Dave, you gave us another winner here on the show. I mean, you got a team like Oregon on a losing streak, laying points on the road in, in the Pac-12 game against Washington. You said it was easy, and sure enough, Washington gets the money. It, you know, it makes no sense. You know, what happens is a lot of teams like Oregon, they, they play their first 13 games at home. They start out 13-0, and 0, and uh, the next thing you know, they're 13-5. and 5. And that's basically what happened tonight. The wrong team was favored. Uh, won four straight in a row uh, at, uh, at home. The Huskies did. And uh, like I said, after starting out 13-0, and Oregon was uh, had lost four straight. And there was just no reason in the world that they should be favored on the road by a field goal. Uh, obviously, I put basketball. I'm just, you know, having a little fun with the number three. I, I just don't understand that. And uh, it was easy pickings. It was easy money. And uh, a little two-game winning streak after losing two in a row. Of course, I won five in a row before I lost two in a row before I just won the two in a row. So not bad. Seven out of the last nine uh, here on the program. And uh, I think I got uh, I think I got a good a good one for you Friday night in the uh, in the NBA. All right, Dave. Yeah, we're gonna look at the NBA tonight. Nice card from the NBA. Uh, we're going to look at this contest here between the Oklahoma City Thunder hitting the road to face the Boston Celtics. Uh, the game time is set for 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. I see it in, in some locations that we've got Oklahoma City seven, minus 7 point favorite in some, in some location with an over-under of 198. How do you see this one? It's Oklahoma City visiting Boston. I think this is a monster letdown spot for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, this is a uh, definitely a situation. They're coming off winning back-to-back -back games against the Portland Trail Blazers where they scored uh, 15 straight to end the game. Yeah, I know Portland scored the last two points of the game. Stop emailing me telling me that Oklahoma City ended the game in a 15-0 run. I know Portland scored the last two points, man. I watched the game. I ripped my ticket up. I threw it in the trash. I know exactly what happened. And then, of course, they come back with the big game against uh, San Antonio the other night. And they've taken over first place in the uh, Western Conference. And uh, I'm not saying that the Boston Celtics are going to win this game outright by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, I'm expecting Rondo to play. But even if he doesn't play, uh, like I said, uh, I think this is a big-time letdown uh, situation for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And uh, I will be... Uh, I don't want to say strong. Uh, this will be uh, probably at uh, payafteryouwin.com, www.payafteryouwin.com, payafteryouwin.com, where uh, all of my plays are guaranteed to cover the spread or uh, you don't pay for the selection. I'll probably charge uh, $99 uh, for this one uh, right here. So, uh, uh, you know, medium to, medium to light heavy, you know, if you're a – you're a nickel player. This is a nickel bet right here. I mean, I wouldn't tell you to downgrade it any. I wouldn't tell you to upgrade it any. This is a regular play, and uh, I like uh, I like the Boston Celtics at home catching uh, three possessions, uh, seven points. All right, Dave, I says take the uh, Boston Celtics getting the points here in this game against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Well, new Dave, when you look at the NBA card here for uh, Friday, uh, there must be, what, 13 games on the card. Do you have any other action going on for Friday's action? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of NBA on uh, Friday. There was only two games on uh, Thursday. And, uh, yeah, there, there's a couple of them. But, you know, once, once again, I, uh, I I don't want to rush into things. I, I know there's at least one other game that uh, I do like. Uh, and, uh, you know, look, I, I'm willing to give it to you. 
for free. All you got to do is pick the phone up. Give me a call. 1-888-375-2710. one 375 You're going to talk directly with me, Dave Scandaliato. I'm going to give you all the plays myself. I'm not going to ask for your credit card or nothing like that. You can leave that in your wallet for the time being. And uh, let me just work with you for a couple of days. Let me show you that you can make money at basketball. I mean, there's so many games. There's so many teams that the odds makers, they can't keep up. They can't keep up like like Wisconsin the other day when we went with uh, Minnesota. The Golden Gulf is at home. Wisconsin started out 16-0. and 0. Now they've lost three in a row. They might line up losing eight, nine in a row by the time it's all over with. Because the 16-0 was BS. It was a BS 16-0. That's what you call that's what you call a, a bookie speak. It was BS, man. Everybody knows that. So uh, I'm willing to work with you. I have no problem showing you, proving to you that you can win money betting basketball. But it all starts with you. You got to pick the phone up. You got to make your mind up, man. Hey, I'm ready to start winning. I'm going to stop playing these stupid teasers. I'm going to stop doing this 10.3 team nonsense laying a dollar fifty to win a dollar. That's so stupid. It's a sucker bet. You got to stop doing all that. You can't be playing ten games a night. That, that, this isn't how it works, man. You'll get juiced to death. Let me show you how to make money, and I'll do it at no cost. And believe me, after the two three day trial, if you want to go away, go away. My phone rings all day, all night. It never stops. The email box always has somebody looking for help. It never ends. Nobody can win money betting basketball, pro basketball, college basketball. Anything to do with the word basketball is usually a financial disaster to people trying to play. I know the secret of betting uh, hoops, uh, whether it's pro or college. Let me give you, let me let me show you how it's done. Give me a call. 1-888-375-2710, 1-888-375-2710. You know, Dave, uh, be sure to give him a call on his comp pick hotline and pick up his um, play from the NBA, uh, his plays for Friday's action. Now, Dave, we're going to go over to the eapicks.com website. It's a website we're uh, monitored at. That's uh, where handicappers, they make their selections, at, and uh, they're graded, and uh, all the records are there for the world to see. And we're going to go over to handicapping records and click the NFL records. And right now we're going to see you number one season to date in the NFL as documented at the EAPicks.com Sports Monitor. And I know, Dave, uh, the Super Bowl is a little more than a week away and uh, you want to wait for the weather report. But, you know, there's these props that will be coming out. And I know, uh, as we can see here right now, the EAPicks.com uh, Sports website, you can see I have the mouse over Dave. He's number one documented right now on the EAPicks.com Sports Monitor. You can pick up Dave's prop package for $99. And uh, let me tell you, it's, you know, for those that are novices that haven't played props, it can be very overwhelming. There's a lot of pages, a lot of props on the sheets, and you need an experienced eye and mind to help you with this. And uh, Dave, the Meet Me at Scandaliato, has several years of experience uh, in, 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 in picking and betting on props for the Super Bowl. And he, he's going to tell you right now about his prop package for $99. And Dave, I know you've got uh, something to offer the public today. The only day easier to make money than the Super Bowl is the Kentucky Derby. Because the Kentucky Derby, every bozo in the planet comes out for that, okay? It's like the Super Bowl. All right, the Kentucky Derby comes around, and people who haven't bet horses all year start firing, man. Everybody's an expert. They got everybody this, that, 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 that. Man, it's easy money. It's easy money. I mean, it's just an absolute bozo with on. The Kentucky Derby. That's day. That's the number one day when it comes to making money betting sports in the life of Dave Scaliato. Number two is the Super Bowl. Number two is the Super Bowl. Here it comes, man. This town is going to get filled up with nothing but absolute squares. Absolute suckers, man. Here they come. They're going to come pouring into town. Haven't made a bet all year. Busted out earlier in the year, this, that, that, and the other thing. Don't know nothing about odds. Don't know nothing about math. Don't know nothing about nothing. Here they come, man. This is going to be great. And they get here, and they start doing all that nonsense, pushing this number to this and that, and this and that, and that, and the other thing. 
And a meat man shows up and he's ready to work. He's ready to work. After all the sharps and the wise guys have moved all the lines and this and that, that and the other thing, and everything kind of stabilizes, then I come in and do my job, which is to uh, figure out uh, where, the, where the errors are. Because you got a lot of people out there that say that the gamblers set the, uh, the lines out here in Las Vegas. And they're partially right, because the money bet on each game, bet on each prop, is going to pretty much determine the line. But it don't mean they're any good at it. All you got to do is look at the uh, the NFL playoffs. It's been a total disaster for the uh, Sharps and the Wise guys. I'll be the first guy to admit they were on, they were on Seattle over San Francisco. Let's get the winner at the head out of the way. Let's get that out of the way, all right? Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. They had the Seattle-San Francisco game over the total loser. They had the New England Patriots against the Denver Broncos. Push that line down to four and a half. Loser. The total on the game opened 55. It closed 57 and a half. Never even sniffed 57 and a half. Loser. The week before, the Saints and uh, uh, the Seahawks. Uh, uh, Seattle goes up a 19 point favorite. I have to open an eight. Loser for the. For the Sharps and the Wise Guys, they got the game over the total. Doesn't even come close to going over the total. Another, uh, another loser. Uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it's just, you know, these guys, just because they, they beat their chest, you know, they, oh, I, I, I got this much money on this. Well, who cares? Who cares? Or they'll say, uh, look at this, man, I made a bet, and I got minus a dollar fifty, and now it's minus a dollar seventy. This isn't a value-picking contest, man. That isn't what we do when we go to the sports book. The main goal is to not beat the closing line. It's to beat the bookie. That's the goal. That's the goal. Not, not to close a number. Not to, not to have better odds than the guy standing next to you. It's picking winners. And that's what we do. We pick winners. We pick winners. We, we, we don't release anything early. We're not going to have anything, uh, you know, hot off the plate. All right, it's all coming late. It's all going to come about 36 hours before kickoff. And if you want to play some prop bets for the Super Bowl, put me in the game, brother. Put me in the game, coach. $99. I'll give you all of my proposition bets for the 2014 NFL Super Bowl. And after I give you my prop bets, I'll help you with the website that you're gambling with with the prop bets that they have available. Obviously, I live out in Las Vegas. I got access to the... MGM, Cantor Gaming, Wind Casino, the LVH, Caesars, Harris Entertainment, uh, William Hill. It never ends the amount of props that I'll be able to get down on. I got offshore sports books everywhere. Chris, Pinnacle, uh, Battery Sports, Bookmaker, WagerWeb. I mean, you name it. I got, a, I got an account of the joint called Chinese Bookie. I like that, Tony, called Chinese bookie. I'm an Italian, a, a Italiano. I'm playing with some chink. I'm playing with a Chinese guy. I ain't, I ain't believe me. I take his money. I take his money. He wanted to pay me wontons one time. I said, no, cash, cash money, USD. So I have all these places that I can get down at. I understand a lot of people just have one out. I would say that 85 to 90 percent of the people out there that are going to bet the Super Bowl only have one way to bet it. So I'm willing to see what your man has to offer and work with you on that too. So $99 gets you everything, the side, the total. If I play a teaser, believe me, if I do play a teaser, it's only once a year, the Super Bowl. All right, I don't play teasers on Tuesday and Wednesday night. It's like the, like the Kentucky Derby again. You know, do I bet tried effectors and super effectors? Never. Why? Because the hold is 25%. The track holds 25%. And then if you hit something, you got you to gotta pay taxes on it. I'm not betting into that. I'm not betting that. Yeah, but the day of the Kentucky Derby, I'll take a fly. I'll put a tri box together. I'll get the boys together and make a 6-7 horse super effective box and try to win $100,000. Same thing with the Super Bowl. So, yeah, I might have a little teaser for the Super Bowl, but... You get that, you get all the proposition plays, and you talk directly with me. You get all the information straight from me, and uh, I will make you a winner on Super Bowl Sunday 
If I can make you a winner the whole football season, the preseason, I kick you know what. The regular season, I kick you know what. Almost 60% winners in the LVH Super Contest, the World Championship of Professional uh, Pro Football Handicapping. I'm hitting almost 90% of my uh, NFL playoff games documented at EA Picks Sports Monitor. It's really over 90%, but, uh, you know, I, I got two pushes. That should have been two wins. I'm not worried about it. I'm not, you know, so I've done it all year. I've done it all year, preseason, regular season, postseason, and I'm going to do it in a Super Bowl. And if you're tired of losing, you're tired of paying the man, you're tired of paying your bookie, you're one phone call away from changing it all around. 1-888-375-2710. Talk directly with me, Dave the Meat Man Scanliato, owner of the meatandpotatoes.com website since 1998. I opened meatandpotatoes.com three decades ago. I, I was on the internet before Al Gore even invented the thing. That's how long my website's been open. 1-888-375-2710. Talk directly with me, Dave the Meat Man Scandalietto. All right, be sure to give Dave a call on his comp pick hotline. You see the number 1-888-375-2710. Get on board with his prop package from the NFL Super Bowl. And, you know, Dave, you were talking about your playoff record. I just happened to go over to EAPicks.com and bring it up. And if you could, you just go to, you just go to EA Picks and you click Dave's NFL uh, link on it, on his uh, record page. And you'll be able to see his playoff eight wins, one loss, two pushes, all documented at the EAPicks.com sports monitor. And, you know, Dave, those pushes, most of your players won those games because uh, that line moved. These lines move. We, we had the, you push with the Saints plus eight. We know it was nine, nine and a half, even up to ten in some places. You had 49ers and uh, Seattle in the uh, in the NFC game under 40. That was at 41, 40 and a half. So, uh, you know, you, you most of your players went 10 and one in the NFL playoffs, as documented here on the EAPix.com sports monitor. Right. Worst case scenario, eight, one and two. Best case scenario, 10 and one. Now, I'll take either one. I'll take either one. I'll take either one. You want to say, beat man, you're eight, one, and two in the NFL playoffs? All right, man. If that's what you want to accuse me of being, all right, that's fine. I, I, you know what? I, that's fine. Now, you know, if I was a handicapper at the pregame or Vegas Insider or covers of Don Best, uh, I, I, I would have, I would have won those games, Tony, because you know you can put whatever line. You want when you? I might have won the Colts game too, man. I might have put. I was getting twenty three. That's what they do at these other websites. They they make up their own numbers. They make up their own lines. I mean, what a what a great gig that is, man. You get to pick your own number and you get to and you get to you know uh, charge for the plays. What a what a great deal that is. Well, unfortunately, at uh, EA Picks, it doesn't quite work like that. Uh, you are assigned. The current number from Chris, Costa Rica International Sports, which is where the line originates. So when I put those two plays in at EA Picks, the current line at Chris was eight in the Saints game. It was eight and a half at other places. It was nine in other places. But at Chris, they had it at eight. So I had to take eight. I had to take eight. I wanted to take, I wanted to take, uh, I wanted to take nine. I wanted to do that. I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't take that. I couldn't, I couldn't take that. I got to take this thing. Same thing with the, uh, with the other game. I, I, you know, the total was 40 when I put it in at, uh, at eapix.com, but all across the internet, all over the place, there were 40 and a halves and some 41s. So that's why you don't see a lot of handicappers on the eapix.com website. A lot of them have tried and they, they just don't like it because they say, well, you know, uh, uh, the spread on the Saints uh, Seattle game uh, is eight with the Seahawks and New Orleans. Uh, it's nine in the in this other place. And if I can't get nine, I don't want to be monitored at your place. Now, to me, that's silly. If you like the Saints plus eight or Seattle minus eight, what's another point? What's another half a point? Well, let me tell you what it is, Tony. Let me tell you what it is. It's mathematically proven that if you add an extra half a point or a point, to the point spread, uh, out of every hundred games that you release, 
you're going to win five extra games with that half a point and that point. You're going to win. You're going to win five extra games with that with that half a point and that, and that point. That turns a a 50 percent handicapper into a 55 percent handicapper. That turns a losing 51 percent handicapper into a into a 56 57 percent handicapper. So uh, uh, that's why you, at uh, at EA picks you don't see a lot of guys up there. But uh, believe me, uh, when you see somebody's record up there. It's legit because you are not getting the best line possible. You're getting the line from Chris close to international sports. Uh, and that, that's why I like EA picks. It's fair. It's honest. And uh, the accurates are the records are about as accurate as you can get them. That's right, Dave, because over at the EAPicks.com sports monitor, you know, some of these lines are going to move. They do move. But once you're locked in to a number – Unlike in other sports monitors, you're able to delete the pick and then re-enter it and get the better number. But uh, at the EAPicks.com sports monitor, Dave, like with some of these games that moved, like, you know, this, the, the uh, 49er game was a late move, so was the Saints game. Uh, you were, once, you, once, you, once you put in, once you were monitored at eight, you couldn't go in there, delete the pick, and then re-enter it and get the better number. No, when I used to be over at the track picks, that's what you would do. You would go in there and... Uh... You could delete the picks. You could delete them after the line moved. I mean, look, I like Dan over at Track Picks. He's a good guy. Spent some time with him in Costa Rica. He's not a bad guy. But when you allow handicappers to delete plays, that's BS, man. That's BS. Same thing with the money lines. At EA Picks, you, you can't play a football game on the money line where the favorite is over 10 points. You'll have guys that just track picks. They'll go six and zero on Saturday in college football. They'll have a eighteen and two record, and and they're playing teams like, you know, Ohio State minus a hundred thousand on the money line against against uh, little sisters of the poor, or, or they, 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 things like that. I mean, that that's not. It ain't nobody gonna take, you know, Notre Dame on the money line minus eighty thousand against. Uh, you know, substandard college. I mean, that that's not how you handicap games. So, you know, the EA picks, they give you the total pack, and that's and that's what, what I like about it. Like I said, they got some big name guys up there. They just don't put any picks up there. <laughs> they scared. <laughs> they scared. They scared. I mean, look, I'm not gonna bash nobody. I'm not gonna bash nobody, but you close the guys know who you are. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all are scared. You scared. Meat Man ain't scared. Every play that I release at payafteryouwin.com, P-A-Y-A-F-T-E-R, Y-O-U, W-I-N, dot C-O-M, payafteryouwin.com, is monitored and documented at eapix.com. I ain't scared. It's as simple as that. Whatever the line is, that's what I take. If it's a half point, so be it. I'm going to win the game anyway by more than a half a point. Believe me, I, I, I'm very confident in my selections. A half point ain't going to scare me. A point ain't going to scare me. The bottom line is I win more than I lose. And when you can win at eapix.com, you know you're pretty good. I had a monster December. I'm a winning handicapper so far in 2014. I, I'll be the first guy to admit I'm a couple of games under 500. In college basketball, because I've been concentrating on football, but by the soul, by the end of next week, my record in college basketball will be at least 50-50. Now, when the Super Bowl ends on February the 2nd, we start February the 3rd, they will be no better college basketball handicapper for the next two months, for the month of February and the month of March during all the tournaments and the conference play. I am ready to rock and roll. And, uh, you know, once again, if you want to check out my documented against the spread record, check out eapix.com. And don't forget, every play at EA Picks is released to the general public 15 minutes after the uh, game start. So, you know, for example, tonight, uh, I won with uh, Washington. Of course, I gave it out on a program last night, the Huskies against Oregon. Well, I mean, it, you know, Oregon was winning the whole first half. So, you know, I mean, uh, when they released Washington, EA Picks finally released who I had. 
I was on the losing side at the time of the release. I mean, I came back, win the game outright, which didn't surprise me. But uh, you never have to worry about what a handicapper has at uh, EAPicks.com because you can see the play 15 minutes after the game starts. And as everybody knows, the ball game is not decided in the first 15 minutes. It's decided in the last 15 minutes. So, uh Check it out. That's all I got to say. Check it out. I got nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. That's right. Uh, as uh, Dave was talking, I went over to gamepicks.com and the little uh, tab here that says today's picks, just pick today's picks. And you'll be able to see the handicappers plays. Again, they will be shown to the public 30 minutes after they go off. So uh, when the plays are up, uh, you know, during the afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, just click the picks and you'll be able to see them as they are underway. And uh, just to recap uh, our conversation for tonight uh, with, with Dave, uh, he came in with his NBA play, uh, which was taking the points plus seven with the Boston Celtics at home against the Oklahoma City Thunder. If you want his NBA plays for Friday night, give him a call on his comp pick hotline. You see the number right there, 888-375-2710. Get his $99 uh, package as well from the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl props that he's going to release. You can give him a call, again, 888-375-2710. You get his Super Bowl props for 99 bucks. And you get his comp and you get his uh, plays for Friday's NBA absolutely free by calling that comp pick hotline 888 375 2710. All right, I'd like to thank Dave for joining us here on the EAPicks.com Sports Monitor, the number one handicapper documented EA Picks for the NFL for this season. And uh, again, this is Tony T. I'd like to uh, remind you guys that EAPicks.com is the sports monitor where handicappers go on record with their plays for the world to see. All right, I'm Tony T. That'll do it for tonight. We're coming back tomorrow. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye.